Hey folks, welcome to another How To Casio video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at radians and degrees. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, folks, so for this particular video, we're gonna be using a sine of 30 degrees. So firstly, if you wanna change between radians and degrees, what you want to go is, uh, let's go into the home menu. We're gonna go into calculate and go into settings. And under settings, we're going to go into calc settings and as you can see, the second part right there, it is angle units. So when you click on angle units, you can actually choose between degrees, radians, and gradients. So let's actually work out what sine 30 is first. So when I do sine 30, I've got sine of 30. Now I don't need to actually close the bracket, I could actually leave it like that. And what I'm gonna get is a half. So for the next example, I'm gonna be using sine pi over six because I know that pi over six is equal to 30 degrees. Um, but let's actually work it out. So if I go into the calculator and I do sine of pi, also pi has actually moved in this calculator. It's actually shift seven. So click on shift seven, click on the fraction button, and we're gonna put in six. And when we put equals, we are actually getting this point. Now the reason is because the calculator is in degrees mode. So we need to change it to radians. So what we're going to do is click on settings, calc settings, go into angle unit, and we're gonna change into radians. Once we do that, now if we go sine pi over six and we press equals, we're actually getting one half. Now in this particular calculator, there is a way to do this without actually changing um, your mode from degrees to radians. So let me go back to degrees mode. So I'm gonna go into angle unit and put this back to degrees. And let's say I'm trying to work out sine of pi over six. The problem is well, because it's in degrees. So what you could do is there is one more button that you can do where you go into catalog and in here you go into angle coordinate mode and there's a little button called radians. When you click on it, you're gonna see a little R popping up here. Now what it's telling the calculator here is that you've got sine of pi over six in radians but the mode is in degrees so it automatically converts it. So check this out you're gonna get half. I know what you're thinking right now. Can I actually do this without sine to actually convert radians to degrees? Absolutely. So let's take something like uh, three pi over four. I always struggle to figure out what that um, degrees is. Now your normal procedure, you've got two ways to do this. So you would go three pi over four, and what you would do is you would multiply it by 180 over pi. Oops, sorry, there we go, let's try that to actually get that as 135 degrees. Now, sometimes you forget that, right? Sometimes if you do forget it, what you could do is you could actually go three pi, so go three pi over four, and then go into the catalog menu, go into angle, go into radians, and notice, oh, I actually realized I, need, I shouldn't have put it there, I should have put it here. So I'm gonna move the cursor first, go into catalog, angle, and I'm gonna put in radians, now what that should do is if I press equals, it should convert it to 135 degrees. Now I still haven't figured out how to go from degrees to radians uh, to see if there's a button here. But of course, while we're at it, if you do wanna change degrees to radians, all you gotta do is 135 multiplied by pi over 180. And that gives you three pi over four. So now, if you do find a shortcut for this, uh, please leave it in the comment section below or just send me an email. So guys, that is just a quick little video on how to change uh, your calculator mode from radians to degrees and also the hack for changing uh, radians to degrees.